Welcome back to my channel and watch as I go from aubergine mat to choco croco mat. Alrighty, hi you guys and welcome back. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I did already was cut out the bookmarks or page markers. I call them little dots, but I've cut them out and this is what the cover looks like prior to any dye being applied to it. It's a Giglio B6 Apunto in Croco or Aubergine Croco Matte. So what I'm using is Angelus dye and it's actually dark brown. I think I'm going to post on the screen it's in brown but I believe it's actually dark brown. And the bottle is a three ounce bottle and it comes with the little wool dop Dauber, I think is their correct pronunciation, for what you'll use to apply your dye. Now, in my prep, I just put down some plastic, and you also will need this. This is Angelus Deglazer, which I think is just an acetone, but I put down some saran wrap, and I'm going to actually deglaze one of the page markers just to see how the dye takes to uh, one that's stripped and then one that is not stripped. And I would highly recommend you wearing gloves. I'm going to point that out later on in the video because I didn't use gloves when I used the acetone. And acetone like removes the top layer or sealant of stuff. So your fingers will get dry, it, like dries out your skin. So another disclaimer where gloves. Now after I put the acetone or the deglazer on there, I was feeling it to make sure that the texture of it didn't change and it actually felt a little bit softer and it may have been because of the top layer that it removed. And like I said, I'm only going to do one. Now I have my trusty gloves on. So again, I was trying to feel what it felt like, but when I put the gloves on, I couldn't tell what it felt like. This stuff here is actually a transparent dye, and I thought maybe I would use that to lighten the dark brown dye, but I ended up not using it at all. I just used the dye. And I thought, oh, okay, let me pour some in the cup. And I didn't realize, duh, but it's liquid, and it's very, very liquidy. As you'll see, I kind of got it smeared everywhere and I had to get a wet one just to clean the bottle. I will say though that it dries quickly, like very quickly. So things I'm even touching, there's no residue or I didn't leave any kind of spots from where I touched after the dye had been waste except for on the wet one. And I want to make sure I move that out of the way in case any spills happened. You see the ring there? But that's already dry on top of the saran wrap. So I'm going to take the dauber and just tap it in there because it's very absorb. The dauber itself is very absorbent. So it sucked up quite a bit of dye with just dabbing it a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do the one that I actually used the deglazer on. And I tried to keep them separate, but I can't remember. I know the first one right there is without the um, top coat on, so I did deglaze that one. The other one I did not deglaze, but I couldn't remember the pattern of which one was which after I actually dyed them both. Ah, should have been paying more attention. So this was after I did them both, and I'm looking at them trying to see if dye, I'm sorry I was out of frame if the dye took more in the one that was stripped and deglazed or if it didn't. But I can tell you that one of them came out much darker than the other one. And if my camera would focus, there we go. 
you can see the one on the right, that one that I'm picking up right now, that one was actually lighter than the one on the left. And the one on the left also has more of the crockle print on it than the one on the right. So I'm guessing, and honestly, I really can't even guess. I'm guessing that was the one on the right that I deglazed because it felt like it was a little bit softer than the one on the left. So I'm going to go with that. But the deglazed one actually didn't take as much dye, which I thought would. But that's what they look like. So what I'm going to try to do is put it in my other hand and I'm going to remove my gloves. Well, I already moved my glove. But just to, my lighting is so awful in my place. God, I hate it. And I do have a ring light, but I was too lazy to get it out and shine it on there. Maybe next time I will. It does make a difference, I guess. But that's what they were looking like. And if you haven't noticed, I am doing a voiceover, so I'm sorry if it comes across a little iffy, iffy. And now I'm out of frame. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm talking about something and doing something. Okay. I guess I was feeling them and checking them with my hand to see the difference. But right here, you can see it just a tinge that the one on the left is lighter. So now I'm getting ready to go in with a brush and start the process of doing the entire cover. Now, the pen loop, I did not deglaze. Off camera, I did go ahead and take a cotton swab and deglaze very lightly the entire cover. Just um, didn't totally saturate the cotton ball, but enough on there to wet it and just do a run over on the front and on the back and on the uh, snap closure of the cover. The only part I did not do was that pen loop that I started to apply the dye to first. And I was using a brush to apply it because the dauber, like I said, it soaks up so much of the dye. And even if you look closely, as I started to use the paintbrush and apply the dye, it was rolling and transferring already onto different parts of the pen loop because it's like water. It's very liquidy. So <laughs> as I move on, and I did the pen loop first, but there was no turning back after I did this. So now I've finished 
half of it. So I've done the interior and I've let it dry a little bit. And like I said, the dye dries pretty quickly, but you can see some of the aubergine peeking through, some of the lightness coming through. And um, I only decided to put this one coat up ah, and there's the rest of the aubergine. So um, it's time to keep going and finish her up. going to go ahead and fast forward this section because it did take a little while and um, you can guys can enjoy some music while you watch.
And this is the final result of what it looks like. Now I did this on Monday. Today is Saturday. And I'm trying to film this in kind of bright light so that you could see what it looks like. You can still see some of the uh, pink peeking through the aubergine. And I may go back and do another coat in those spots to darken it up. But I'm very happy with the way it came out. See the aubergine there? And on the tab. The zipper actually took pretty good. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And I'm very happy with it. And I'm very satisfied with it. So if it's something you're thinking about doing, go ahead and try it out. See you in my next one.